Hello, welcome to Antchat. My name is Chris Murrow. On today's show, we will be following a uh, colony of Cremitigaster Karasai. I believe it's Karasai, not Sarasai. Why would Cremita? Eh, anyway, so we start here with uh, you know shot of a colony uh, entrance. This is you know innocent enough. Uh, something this species is notorious for is having um, foraging lines and uh, subcolonies that seem to go on for mm, forever. Um, I've like followed trails of this ant through woodlands and like. I, it, like, they don't end. And I happen to have a colony that lives, uh, well, one of the nests is stationary in the, um, uh, train ties we have for the front garden. So then we go through our, uh, front steps here, where we have a small trail. It's going a little fast, hard to make them out, but trust me, they're there. In front of the other garden, where they probably have a nest also inside of. Not entirely sure whereabouts it would be. You see there's workers there. Just going on and on and on. Along the side of that garden, we have a, a little crack area that they're taking advantage of. And uh, this is looking over the gate that uh, connects the fence to the side of the house. And uh, farther down, we have a sunflower cane from a couple years ago that I accidentally snapped open while shooting this. And you can see they're actually uh, nestled in there with brood and stuff, and they just take advantage of you know, multiple sites to uh, have their nests. You can get the weeds away for a little better angle. I did not want to rip this uh, entire area through. Um, but I, d I didn't like want to rip up the uh, thing and just dump out all the nests. I don't. I don't. Uh, I prefer having these structures in the uh, in my yard, despite you know being able to grow some more, which I plan to do this year. And there's a large stump there. And uh, back here on the fence, we have uh, basically they turn the, uh, <laughs> the little railing on the the fence here into their personal little highway. Just goes on and on and on. I like how they bump into each other and just have to check out one another, as if there's something new on this other ant. And they Through some leaf litter, we have uh, yet another little station where they're going into the back of our shed. Uh, the trail gets a little thin there, but you know it's just you know basically an off joint or an off ramp. We continue along the other side of the fence. I, I have to follow it all the way bound, and uh, you know you can basically be looking at the same thing if you had, I didn't uh, jump ahead a little bit. But anyway, underneath the uh, you know dead beehive that I mentioned uh, previously. Uh, they have a little area here, and I don't know what they're feeding on. I think it's some sort of a grub or termite, maybe? You know, these, now that I say that, I think these are actually termite bodies. But, you know, they're helping to clean up the uh, old hive, which um, I'll probably be replacing this hive in a moment, or later on in the year. So that kind of brings us back to the uh, beginning, because it just it wraps around my house, and I have a... Um, yeah, in summary, they've kind of uh, surrounded the house. Is uh, pretty much what I wanted to get at for this video. So I've been Chris Murrow, and I have a blog, uh, Antsies Butterflies Nature at Blogspot.com, and uh, thank you for watching. Where am I walking to? Uh, 